Are you a small business and wanting to increase the security posture of your Microsoft 365 environment, but you don't know where to start? Then this video is for you. Depending upon what kind of Microsoft 365 business subscription you have, you get advanced level or some basic level of Microsoft 365 security already inbuilt into your Microsoft 365 subscription. So I'm going to walk you through to what you can do to actually increase the security of your Microsoft 365 environment even if you have a Microsoft 365 basic subscription, but if you have a premium subscription, then it actually opens up more opportunities for you, which are kind of advanced level um, settings that you can actually enable to secure your environment further. So let's go check it out and how to actually do that. So before we start and dive into the Entra ID portal, you know, let's have a look at what kind of features you actually get uh, as part of different Microsoft 365 business subscriptions, right? Let's say, for example, you have Microsoft 365 Basics. The core um, security, the basic security is already inbuilt into your um, subscriptions, like it's with the, every subscription that you get with Microsoft 365. So, for example, uh, Microsoft 365 Basic, um, Business Basic subscription, you have the security defaults already there. Right? But if you go for a business standard or business premium, you get the conditional access. The difference between these two is security defaults is basically, um, you know, the default level security, which is provided by Microsoft. If you enable this feature, it actually gives you, uh, you know, all the multi-factor authentication for all the users, for all of your admins. And, you know, it, it prompts for any kind of suspicious activities um, if, it, if it actually um, notices and it prompts the users for the multi-factor authentication. But if you have business premium or business standard, you can actually define a granular level of uh, policies, conditional access policies, where you can actually prompt your users, uh, for example, for MFA for certain kind of criteria. So you can define that criteria. Right, so this is kind of an advanced level that you get with the business standard and business premium. For all of your emails, for example, right, the basic um, security is already inbuilt into your subscription, whether you have business premium, business standard, or a business basic, right? Anti-spam, anti-malware, anti-phishing protection is already included in your um, subscription with Microsoft 365, right? Um, then you have obviously, you know, this is for all of your emails that you currently have and um, that's just teams for communications um, and then, you know, the sharing is there for, um, you know, all of the subscriptions that you currently have. But if you want to go for more um, robust security, like the advanced security, then you, you'll have to basically go into either business standard or business premium. But if you go into a business premium, which kind of gives you you know, advanced level of security um, for, for kind of everything. Like you have the data loss prevention policies that you can actually create. You have the safe links and safe attachments. So if someone sends you, um, you know, um, a corrupted file or the file which has any uh, kind of viruses, it kind of protects you against all of that for OneDrive and um, SharePoint as well. You can actually mark um, your items as um, sensitive or confidential, or you can create your own sensitivity labels. But we are here to talk about the security. So I'm just going to start with the um, security defaults, which is basically this is the way to start if you really want to basically, you know, um, enable your security for your Microsoft 365 environment, but you don't know where to start. And you're still figuring out things, but this is a Good way to start so if you don't have anything right now so the first thing to do would be to basically enable the security defaults so that you have some level of protection already and then you can um, slowly work on to you know uh, setting up different securities if you have different kind of subscriptions so let's quickly have a look at security defaults what it actually gives you so with the security defaults basically what it gives you is it says that you know it will require all users to register for multi-factor authentication so whenever someone tries to um, access any of the 365 services for example sharepoint right those users will be prompted to register for multi-factor authentication and it will also require all your admins to do multi-factor authentication um, it will require all your users to do multi-factor authentication when necessary so if if Microsoft thinks that the user is coming from a different location and it says, oh, there's some kind of suspicious behavior for the user, then it will automatically prompt the user to do the multi-factor authentication. 
it blocks all the legacy authentication protocols and it basically protect your privilege activities like access to Azure portal. So all of these policies or basically the controls will already be enabled automatically whenever you enable the security defaults. Um, but if you have, you know, uh, Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 licenses, then obviously rather than secure to defaults, I would say you should go and look into the conditional access policy. You can define all of these policies using the conditional access policies, plus you can do much more, right? So because this video is about, you know, where to start, so I'm just going to um, straight go into the security defaults and how to basically enable the security defaults. So what we need to do is we'll go to entra.microsoft.com. So under overview, the, you will find that there's an option for security defaults, right? Um, I don't see an option to enable or disable security defaults because I have uh, conditional access policies enabled within my tenancy. Um, I have got a higher license, but um, you know, if you don't have the conditional access policies enabled and you're just looking to start with the security defaults, then um, you will see an option for security defaults here, right? Let me quickly show you how that option actually looks like. So if I go to this page, um, so on this page, when you come to security defaults, there will be an option that your organization is not protected by security defaults. And you just have to click on the manage security defaults. And then it will ask you to basically select enable or disabled option from the drop down menu. All you have to do is basically select enabled option and click on save. Once you do that, the security defaults will be enabled within your Microsoft 365 tenancy and you will have all of these features automatically enabled, right? Which is um, all of these basic controls. Um, you know, this will be automatically enabled as part of security defaults. So that's a good place to start if you haven't actually, um, you know, worked on the Microsoft 365 security for your um, tenancy. And if you just recently got a new tenancy, by the way, for all the new tenancies, security defaults is already enabled. But in case, um, you know, if it's enabled and you're looking to basically expand more on the security or probably uh, you want to define the conditional access policies, you can actually disable the security defaults by going into the same option and then basically just click on the disabled option and the security defaults will be disabled and then you will be able to basically define conditional access policies. But if you are just starting out, um, you should enable the security defaults and then slowly uh, plan out your security if you haven't already done that. All right, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new today. Microsoft security defaults is actually a great way to start with the Microsoft 365 security to secure your environment. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, put them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.